It's Tuesday the 23rd, I'm FX Plu and this is CurrencyTransfer.com's market update. And the headlines today are that nothing is agreed until everything is agreed, the Italian relief fails to support the euro and the dollar is supported by interest rate differentials. So the phrase nothing is agreed until everything is agreed came back to haunt Theresa May yesterday as she confirmed a deal is 95% done. But she didn't mention any progress over the Irish border. You'll remember she's previously committed to ensure no agreement leaves Northern Ireland as part of the customs union but separates it from the rest of the UK. The DUP, which supports and backs her minority government, confirmed that they will support a Brexit uh, bill amendment which will render the current backstop offer from Brussels as illegal. This means that the only way there'll be a hard border between Northern and Southern Ireland would be with hard Brexit, meaning no deal in place. All parties do support an open border, but Brussels has the proviso that there needs to be a suitable customs check on goods leaving the Republic for the UK, and that is still problematic. Yesterday, cable broke through 130 to the downside on the DUP news, trading down to a low of 129.55. There's plenty more on that one to run, no doubt. Over in the uh, Eurozone, Moody's rating agency downgraded Italy's sovereign debt on Friday. This was no great surprise following the release of the 2019 Italian budget, which creates a, a deficit of 2.4% of GDP and a probable increase in their debt to GDP ratio as well. Moody's did, however, give Italy a stable rating, which uh, lowered borrowing costs slightly and gave the euro a little boost. Uh, the euro has been struggling recently against a stronger dollar. The official response from Brussels is still pending. Uh, Brexit obviously demands much of uh, Brussels' focus right now, but they must remain mindful of Italian events where the national government um, and the nationalist government, rather, has uh, increased its power base further since coming into power. The euro, meanwhile, is more driven by the outlook on inflation and growth, with short-term political impact uh, being a minor inconvenience. Euro dollar will likely remain under pressure as the interest rate differential widens with the US. Yesterday, we saw a low of 114.55. Over in the US, the dollar index rallied a little. We saw 96.10 ahead of Q3 GDP on Friday. The forecast is for 3.3%, which is significantly lower than the Q2 reading of 4.2%. So we may see a little bit of volatility risk creep into the markets for the dollar towards the end of the week, particularly with the proximity of the midterm elections. We'll keep you posted, of course. I'll see you tomorrow.